It's almost 20 years since the transition to high-definition television got underway across the world. And in those early years, it was soon recognized that the wonderful enhancements of HD imaging were going to have profound effects on many program genres. And it was anticipated that special cameras and lenses would be needed to support those. Electronic field production, shooting, wildlife, natural history, documentaries, sports, concerts, Many forms of productions in the field would require lenses and cameras that could be easily transported to locations. And about 15 years ago, Canon undertook the development of two high-definition lenses to support electronic field production. These lenses are here. One is a wide angle, 10 millimeter wide, with a 40 to 1 zoom that would take you out to 400 millimeters. And a companion telephoto that started at 14 millimeters and would go out to 560 millimeters. As you can see, they're fairly sizable, but the 40 to 1 zooms, they weigh not much more than 12 pounds, so they are transportable. And they have large optics because we want high sensitivity for field production. They have a digital drive unit on the side that can drive zoom, focus, and iris. They have system interfaces on this drive unit, so broadcast controllers can be used for zoom and focus. So they're extremely flexible. And these lenses are still being used today, 15 years later, and we anticipate them continuing for some more years in high definition production. But now a new era has arrived. The past couple of years has seen a growing interest among our broadcasters worldwide in this new 4K UHD TV, ultra high definition television, four times more resolution than we have in HD TV today. And again, the manufacturers are producing cameras and now lenses to address this new world. And Canon, recognizing that field production would be every bit as important in this new world, has produced two new lenses specifically for 4K UHD. One of those lenses is here. And while there's been a tremendous increase in the optical performance to accommodate this 4K, the end users have been asking for other improvements. They want more zoom, 40 to 1. Give us more, please, as much as you can. Can you speed up the operation of the zoom and the focus with the servo drives? And we have a new era with new standards coming out for high dynamic range, HDR, and wide color gamut, WCG. And these add further enhancements to your imagery that must be addressed by the lens. Now these lenses come again as a wide angle and a telephoto. We did extend the zoom range from 40 to 45 to 1 and we opened up the angle a little bit from 10 millimeters to 9.7 millimeters. So now we can go 9.7 out to 437 millimeters with the wide angle lens. And with the brother lens, the telephoto, we opened it up a little bit from the 14 of the original HD lens to 13.6. And we had to extend that with 45 to zoom out to 612 millimeters. The extraordinary focal range of all of these lenses is further extended because they all have built-in range extenders, two to one. With a flip of a switch here, I can switch in a range extender, two to one, and take 400 millimeters out to 800 millimeters. In this new lens, I'll take my 437 out twice that. And it's very important. When I switch in the range extender in these lenses, we still retain the 4K optical performance. And we did address the speed of operation of the zoom and the focus. But to do that, we had to make substantial changes to the internal optical design. In these old lenses here, zooming, 40 to 1 zooming, we move two groups differentially to accommodate that zoom. But to do it faster and to keep that higher performance, we did a redesign and made a multi-group for the zooming. And now a few words about the optical performance of this lens. You will notice the large size of this input optical group here. That's sensitivity. This wide-angle lens is f2 maximum aperture. And the companion telephoto is f2.8, 2.8. Very important for field production. Also important for 4K resolution, focusing is that much more of a challenge. 
And for that reason, we extended the rotation angle of the focus control to 180 degrees, a very cinematic rotation angle, compared to the 110 degrees in the former high-definition lenses. And that also helps, of course, for certain program uh, productions to do rack focusing, to have that rotation angle. Now, the servo drive, we speeded it up, as I mentioned earlier, and the focus, because we have to turn it 180 degrees now, we were able to, with the new drive unit, to keep the same speed of that total rotation angle as the former uh, 110. Now, in terms of optical performance, for high-definition lenses, sharpness, obviously, paramount importance. But equally important is the reduction, the minimization of chromatic aberrations. Lateral chromatic aberrations, which gives you color edges on sharp transitions, or longitudinal chromatic aberration, which gives you uh, defocusing of speculars, colored edges on speculars. We have to minimize those for high-definition television. For 4K, we have to really minimize them much more. And that was a big part of the optical design, was to elevate that sharpness from HD to 4K and further minimize the chromatic aberrations, because 4K cameras can see tiny amounts of aberration. Over the past two years, international standards have been produced for HDR and wide color gamut. And cognizant of that, our efforts to reduce, minimize chromatic aberrations to help that color gamut be so beautiful, we augment that with data that's stored in our lens, reporting on the residual aberrations in our lens to the cameras that nowadays have digital correction to reduce those aberrations to where they're subjectively invisible. Then we add in HDR, high dynamic range, and that works at a few levels in lenses. High dynamic range extends contrast. It allows us to see more detail as we go up into highlights, but equally important, it allows us to see more detail as we go deep into shadows in scenes. So now the lens, we must be able to reproduce deep blacks in our lens. And that calls for special strategies in optical design with exotic coatings, etc., on our lens elements. And then we want to, in the nominally exposed part of the uh, scene, we want increased gradations. High dynamic range allows more texture to be visible. And then as we start to go up and capture speculars, we want to reproduce those speculars without any distortion whatsoever. And then, when we deal with the very high levels, with the sun coming in at an angle into the lens or car headlights at night, we want to reduce the aberrations that can be associated with those. And all of these are part of making HDR very, very beautiful in a lens. And that was a big central part of the design. With lenses having extraordinary focal ranges like these lenses, image stabilization is very, very important, especially in field production. If the lenses are being carried handheld, if they're mounted on motorcycles, in helicopters, all sorts of vibrations can interfere with the stability of the image. And we've built into these lenses a stabilizing system, optical stabilizing system, with two detectors, pitch and yaw, that can sense the tiny motions and make a correction using a 32-bit microcomputer to drive an optical element that corrects for that positioning. The image stabilization system is optimized over a few frequency ranges. When you're handling the lens or it's on a tripod, you're at relatively low frequencies, a couple of hertz, and we have put a great degree of correction there. But when you are mounted in helicopters, cars, boats, etc., and you have higher frequency vibrations that go up towards 20 hertz, we have to put in extra corrections for that. And we have done a big improvement in that region, the higher frequency region, in terms of image stabilization. So, two lenses, 4K UHD performance, enhanced further HDR and wide color gamut, a longer focal range up to 45 to 1, higher speed servo drives, improved image stabilization, built-in range extender, and we only increased the weight by a fraction of a pound compared to those original lenses, and the length by a fraction of an inch. So whether you're shooting wildlife, natural history, documentaries, shooting at a concert, houses of worship, 
many, many field production applications, a remarkable new family of lenses. Full 4K UHD performance.